thanks to a friend, I got my hands on the original service manual for the 95 Civic. And ignition timing specification is at idle for the D16 Z6. Should be 16 degrees before top dead center, plus or minus 2 degrees. If you have an automatic transmission, you should be in park or neutral. This is a manual, so obviously in neutral. And let's go ahead and find our timing light and get started. All right. Before we adjust the ignition timing, the service manual states we need to get the engine to operating temperature first. And then we can jump our service connector, which will deactivate any sort of timing advance. And at that point, we will be able to adjust our timing and set it to our base timing. And then we're done. So let's go ahead and start the engine. Okay, you can hear the cooling fan just cut on. That's a good indication we are at operating temperature. The car's been running for about 15 minutes. And just as a reminder, these three bolts are loose so that we can adjust our timing. And you can hear the engine running differently. So let's get our timing light and let's get ready. Okay, here's what a timing light looks like. You've got a positive, negative, and a signal from our number one spark plug, always number one. Now we're reading RPMs. So if you've never used a timing light before, they come in different versions. This one is the, the better one where you get more options. Uh, shows you RPM and we are going to set our target to 16 degrees and what that's going to do is it's going to flash right when we're at 16 degrees and our pointer should be dead on and if it's not we twist our distributor accordingly. Okay, on the passenger side kick panel, you, you will find two connectors, and one of them is a two wire. And we are going to be putting a jumper wire on that connector to disable the ignition advance. That way, we can accurately set our base timing. that. It's going to be hard to show you on camera, but we are aiming our timing light at this pointer right there. See that V? If you look down straight through the V at the crankshaft pulley, there will be a line on the crank pulley. And this strobe light is going to help freeze it in time to see where those marks are. Lastly, we got to tighten up our three bolts and we're done. <laughs> 